Hey everyone, welcome back to New Continent of Side Roses. In today's video, we will discuss about three-step manufacturing process in Odo 80. So three-step manufacturing process is that first, we have to pick the item from the warehouses. The picked item will be transferring into the production area in order to do the manufacturing process. So while manufacturing an item, this will be undergoing with different operations. So once the manufacturing is done, we have to store this product somewhere, right? So the next transfer will be of storing the item in a warehouse. So let's see how can we easily manage the manufacturing of the item in three step. To manage with the manufacturing in three step, first we have to enable the multi-step routes from the configuration settings of the inventory module to set your own rules while manufacturing. Now let's move on to the configuration and under the warehouses you can find the manufacturing and we just need to set it as manufacture in three step. So in this case you can see that we can pick the components, manufacture and then we can store the item uh, which means we can store the product. So once this is done you can save the changes. Now let's move on to the routes and under the routes you can see that uh, the uh, routes over here that is pick components, manufacture and then store. So over here, you can find uh, the operations, I mean, the actions uh, that we just born out here. Which means that we have to, uh, when the products are needed in the site grow pre-productions, we have to pick the components and are created from the site grow stock to fulfill the needs. So once this is done, we will be moving to the other um, full operations. That is when the products are needed in the virtual locations or the production locations. Manufacturing are created from the side group pre-production in order to fulfill the needs. And afterwards, the product will be moving. So whenever the manufacturing is done and the product is arrived in the side group post-production, uh, which means the stored finished products will be moving into the locations. So once this is done, we can just move on to the uh, manufacturing module uh, and uh, to manufacture the item. So in this case, I will be manufacturing the manufacturing the product table so you can just move on to the product table and here we have to define the bill of material so in this case we are just going with three steps and here you can say that we can provide the reference as three step to manufacture a particular product we want different components in this case we are just going to manufacture the component table i mean the product table and we want different components such as tabletop table like bolt screw and this will be undergoing with the operations assembly line one using the assembly operations now you can just move on to the manufacturing module in order to do the manufacturing so for that you can move on to the operations and choose manufacturing order Click on new in order to do the manufacturing where you can fill out the details of the bill of material and all other details will be auto populated. Afterwards, you can just confirm the manufacturing order. As we just confirm the manufacturing order, here you can see that under the work orders, the components status will be waiting. First, we have to pick the item and we have to move the item into the uh, production area. So we can just do the validations. So once we have done with the validation, the next step is that still you can see, um, yeah, it's ready and uh, we have to perform the other uh, transfer over here, right? Now we just need to start the manufacturing of the item. So let me click on start the manufacturing of the item. And in this case, you can see it's, uh, we can just manufacture the item and you can just click it as mark as done. But when you just try to uh, do the um Mark it as done. You can see that we have to complete the quality checks using the shop flow before ma marking work orders as done. So we can just move on to the shop flow. And in this case, we are just uh, using the work center as empty line one. And we have to just undergo with certain uh, steps by assigning the serial number. Then we have to give the picture. So let me search for the picture from my system. And we can provide that. And afterwards, we can also uh, do the validation over here and provide uh, the head serial number. Afterwards, you can set that you can ensure you are using the proper screwdriver. And uh, you can, uh, if the condition is passed, you can set it as passed or else you can set it as feet and you can also set the degree and click on validate and you can just move on here. And we want four legs in order to manufacture a table and you can set the number of quantities and click on validate. And afterwards, if you want to print the labels, you can print the labels or else you can just neglect that. So once that's done, we can just set it as mark as done and close the, produ uh, close the production over there. So once the manufacturing is done, you can see that it is marked as um, finished. Now the other transfer is created. 
and as we are performing with the uh, three step manufacturing order we know first we have to pick the components and that will be moving to the production area so from the production area the item will be produced and once the item is produced we have to move the item into the store so currently you can see that the transfer is ready now we just need to uh, move the finished item in order to store the item in the warehouse so let's click on validate and you can see that we have successfully moved the item now if you want to find the traceability you can see that the item is taken from the post production and that is moved into the stock and in this case you can also find the moves over here and uh, uh, if you move move to the moves here you can see uh, it is um, moved and with the uh, load number that we have given and it has picked from the location uh, post production and moved to the location cybro stock which means into the warehouse we have just moved in order to store the item now under the manufacturing you can also find all the manufacturing details of that's all for today so i hope this video clarifies how to manage the manufacturing in three step in Odoo 80. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.